I think there are a couple of things to look at that are really important. One, uh, one is the budget situation is, is being able to afford it because nobody knows what to pay a manager when you're a streamer. Cause it's just, it's not, a, you don't have references. You don't get to it's go out like and go like, Hey, job. Like, yeah, exactly. You're not going to go on LinkedIn and, and <laughs> like just do your, do a little bit of research and digging and ask somebody. Um, I think one of the, one of the easy things to look at is a percentage. This is what we initially did was a percentage of the streams revenue, the gross for what the stream is pulling in. And, and the reason why this one I think is, is particularly valuable is because in an ideal scenario, the manager and the broadcaster collectively team up to increase the value of the stream, which should increase the revenue that the stream is gaining. May not be immediate because a lot of that stuff is cooking. We're still working on projects we started three years ago. In a lot of cases, a lot of that could be a slow progress toward increasing that revenue, but that should be happening. Thus, there is the incentive on the manager's point to uh, seek out new opportunities for, for revenue, and it frees up time on the broadcaster's side to be to literally be happier, hopefully. You spend more, more personal time doing stuff, and or you can spend more time on the broadcast, which should be bringing you joy as well, which ideally both of these things are, are creating a scenario where more revenue can come into the stream, which not only makes up for that 10% that's going out, 10%, 20%, uh, really, I think I think uh, when we were initially looking at this, we were asking some people about the standard, and it was like six point five, seven seven percent was what for for like, a corporate environment that, that was corporate environment. Uh, about the percent that yeah people were talking. Uh, that that's one thing about this position though. People that are looking to become broadcast managers or already are broadcast managers, um you're going to have a lot of people tell you that you should be making a lot more than you are. Absolutely. It, in, in a sense is true, but at the same time, if you make a lot more than you are, then you're inherently taking away from the broadcast at that level. Right. And you know, if you're taking away the broad from the broadcast, then you're not really doing your job. Are you? Yeah. So, and the stress that that introduces as well. Yeah. You, you have to understand as with anything in this industry that when it comes to revenue and when it comes to income, there isn't really a standard and yeah, right. certainly here. It's because the role's not standardized as well. And yeah, absolutely. Once income is standardized as a streamer. So like, you know, how much you have a broadcast you manager that, you know, only has like, let's say like 10 hours of work a week, you know, that's kind of yep. just doing that part time. Or you could have someone that's literally carrying your stream on, on your back. Absolutely. And that might be like a partnership. And I think that's where a percentage variability uh, can be can be very valuable. And you guys can negotiate that collectively, what yeah. the role is going to entail, uh, what that value is, and a part of running the stream as a business properly is uh, trying to assess how growth is going to look, what things you're going to be doing, what actions you're going to take to try and increase that growth, and then how that's hopefully translating into revenue. So that you can project and 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 have targets, uh, see where you're heading, and realign yourself along that way. And that's one of the things that can that can help keep a, a manager and streamer together, uh, and and being productive is making sure that those things that those targets are hit. The manager needs to feel rewarded appropriately, and you can reassess this from time to time too. Like make a hard date on like six months down the road, we're going to reassess this percentage. This you know six percent. It's uh, you know, it's questionable. We'll see how we feel afterward. You get, you get down the road. And it's like, dude, I'm doing like 30 hours of work a week. This 6%, it's like 50 bucks. This isn't, this isn't gonna, this isn't gonna cut it. We got to yeah. do something else here. What do you feel like you have to, you have to make sure that those points are already in place. So it doesn't feel like it's a, it's a strain on the relationship. So it's not like, Hey, I'm not getting paid enough. Let's talk about that. That can feel weird. Yeah. You, you want to get some of those things installed, I think. And, and inherently with a, a percentage based income system, it serves as its own kind of driver. Uh, yeah, the more you put into it, the more you're going to get out of it. Hopefully. It, it has like a built-in incentive there. And that's always yeah. a good thing. 